Hello everyone and welcome to Monkeyfish channel. In today's video, let's talk about eye jabs, eye pokes, or busau, or whatever you wanna call it. And before we start it, I wanna let you know that I am not a master. Basically, I am just a keyboard warrior, so you can agree or disagree with me. Okay, so finger jabs. Some people say that this is a finisher move and this one strike going to finish the fight. Some people saying that this is completely bullshit and I am somewhere between because I have experienced the finger jab and this didn't stop me. Of course, it was not nice. Actually, it was pretty not cool at all. So on this clip, you cannot see this eye poke, but you can see my reaction that I didn't like it. My problem is that a lot of self-defense instructors or martial artists saying that this will end the fight. And of course, it was not nice, but didn't stop me. This one is very interesting because this was my very first competition and I get kicked in my eye. So this guy stabbed me with his toes in my eye and my eye after that looked like this. And you know, leg is only four times stronger than arm and as you can see I can still stand on my feet and I was ready for fighting. But this guy hurt his toes after this kick and I don't know if he continued his fights later but I did. I know you can tell me that you have seen some video on YouTube when somebody put the fingers to somebody's eyes and this stopped the fight. And this is good for him. And I also have seen MMA fighter who get finger to the eye and he can still fight. So it's like 50-50. Some people cannot handle, some people can handle. So don't get me wrong, I don't saying that this technique is useless or bad. I just saying that I would not bet my life on this one move. You have to know different things, not only finger jabs or knee to the groin. I don't say that this technique is useless or bad. I think it's a really effective technique, but you have to use a lot of time to practice because it's not that easy, I think it is. If you do some research, you can see on the self-defense situations from the security cameras, how the self-defense situation looks like. It's really messy, it's really chaotic. And these guys, if they fight each other, sometimes they even cannot hit the head. And how big is head compared to the eye? I don't know, 20, 50, 50 times bigger? It's bigger. So it's not easy to go to the eye. Of course, you're going to tell me that you're going to practice a lot, do this every day, hit the eye of Bob every day, or you make some small target on the heavy bag and hit the same spot all the time and it's going to look super impressive and cool and it is impressive and cool but can you do it when you are in the move or when this guy going to move or when this guy is going to fight you back if you can do it it's good for you but I don't think everyone can do it and when I was training Wing Chun I was training like this with my fingers. So my fingers are kind of ready for stuff like this. But what would happen if you miss the eye, you hit the forehead example. You can injure your fingers because you hit some hard target. And you say, I would never do that, but you know, you don't know what this guy is going to do it in the moment. Maybe he's going to try to sleep or even do some hand maker and you just go into your jab so when he go you can injure your fingers really easy my advice is that if you really 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 wanted to put your fingers to somebody's eyes then instead of going for this one and i understand that this one is really cool because giving you some extra reach because here i cannot touch it here i can touch it but i would go for this one because it's more safe for you you will not injure your fingers and if you miss if you miss that if you miss your thumb the eye you can go for the nose accidentally or on purpose and this is not nice do it to yourself now put your fingers to, on your nose and go back it's not nice and you do this to yourself and you stop it because it's painful and the second guy will not stop it because he don't care. So it's really mean technique. So if you miss the eyes, you go 
to the nose. And if you even miss the nose, you can go to the same technique to the throat. So one technique, three levels, all of them effective and mean, really painful, not nice. So why you should go for the one technique like this, when you can go for this technique, always keep it the same pose. And even if you miss the nose, miss the, miss the eye, miss the throat, this is not nice at all, <laughs> getting slapped like this to the face. And actually, I would not go for the punch like this or like this. To be honest, I would use the wrapping situation. It's really easy to go for the eye. Like this, like this, doesn't matter, you're going to pump the eye. It's just my point of view, as I said before, I'm not a master, I'm not a self-defense guru, and probably I don't know what I'm talking about. So, I don't think I have a, anything more to say about this topic, so... Thank you for watching, see you next time.